Welcome to the Vincard 3000 lock installation video. This video shows a right hand opening assembly. This picture shows the parts required for the Euro lock case. This picture shows the parts required for the ANSI lock case. This picture shows items required for hotel installations only. These are not for marine installations. This clip is only to be used with the security cylinder. This door has been pre-cut for Vincard 3000 ANSI in accordance with Vincard's installation guidelines, which are attached. Position the cable in the door before inserting the lock case into the door edge and then fasten it with the two fastening screws. Insert the cylinder into the lock case and position the cylinder so it will be flush to the outside escutcheon. The female and male spindles are already greased and connected. Assemble the handle retainer plate onto the male spindle side and insert into the handle. Check that the hook on the retainer plate is on the opposite side to the handle. Then assemble the spring which only fits in the one position. Turn the spindle clockwise until it stops and then turn it anti-clockwise, preferably three quarters of a full turn, but ensure that the hole in the spindle faces upwards. Press the handle retainer towards the escutcheon and pull the square pin out, but not completely. Position the outside the escutcheon onto the door, inserting the handle spindle into the lock case, taking care to watch the cables. The handle spindle is kept snugly in place by a pin, by pushing the pin through the spindle. If this does not work, go back and pull the square spindle out from the retainer plate and readjust the male spindle into the outside escutcheon. Insert the thumb turn spindle through the lock case until it stops against the outside escutcheon. Prepare the inside escutcheon by pulling the cables through the escutcheon and adjust the thumb turn in its vertical position while the deadbolt is retracted. Mount the inside escutcheon onto the door, making sure that both spindles fit correctly in their positions. Pay attention that the cables are not squeezed between the escutcheon and the door front. Connect the reader module cable to the control module cable and the control module cable to the lock case cable. If you have the silicon coated version, gently apply the silicon grease around the cable connector. Twist the cables and place them inside the escutcheon. Insert the six AA batteries to the battery cassette, ensuring that they are inserted in the correct position. When you connect the battery cassette to the lock, pay attention that there is one single yellow flash which indicates that all the connections are correct. Fasten the outside and inside escutcheon with four escutcheon screws as shown. Please note that any bending or misalignment may cause a malfunction. It is important to check all functions for smooth operation by throwing the deadbolt with the thumb turn and retracting the latch and deadbolt by depressing the inside handle. Assemble the battery lid using the lid opener. Remember to readjust and fix the cylinder and then check the cylinder has a smooth operation both when the door is in the open and closed position with a metal key. Fix the cylinder in place with the Allen key. Bend the front plate a little bit before connecting to the lock front and fasten with the two lock front screws.
Now the lock is ready for programming. Before this procedure can be done, the database must be prepared and when the lock is programmed, it is ready for use. The instructions are clearly shown on the lock link screen. When the lock installation is completed, remember to reinsert the red plastic keycard slot protection.